So you know how much we love sharing our favorite things. Well, today, that favorite thing is a blow dryer. Yes. We both have two different ones. <laughs> so, very different. <laughs> so I'll start with mine. So I, my favorite currently, and has been for the last couple of months, is this Revlon Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler. Um, since I've gotten it, I've used it a few times, really liked it. We're gonna try it out today on Arlene's hair on half of her head. But she has a different favorite. So mine, um, I've tried a bunch of different dryers over the years. This one I've had for about a year, and it's the Yellow Bird by, who's this by? By Conair, Conair Pro. Um, and this is what the dryer looks like. It has four heat settings and pretty light. Pretty light. Is your, how's yours, is it heavy? Really light. Or? So it looks like it would be heavy, but it's actually pretty light, and it's just like and a And I think brush. it's actually lighter than this one. Yeah, we compared them, and they and it's actually really light. So if you have a similar dryer, you have an idea. Um, and it's just basically like a big brush that has air coming out of, mostly out of the top. Um, so I feel, like, I feel like people have been talking about this a lot, so you've probably heard about this dryer, but... I can say that I'm also a fan. Let's see what Arlene thinks. Um, you might convert me. Who knows? Maybe. We'll see. Who knows? Or you and might I'm be also, converted by this. <laughs> and I've used it on myself as well, so we'll talk about that later. But it has, so with mine, with the Revlon, it has different settings. So mm -hmm. it has cool, low, and high. The high gets really high, so you want to be careful about leaving it on too long. That's what I've noticed. And then there's a lower, it's a little less, and then the cool is just like cold air. Okay, so we are starting on freshly washed and conditioned hair. And we are using a heat protectant. This is what we're using today in case you're interested. Let me see it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. And let's now. get our timer because we are going to see how long it takes to dry. Compare the Revlon against the Conair Pro. Right. Oops, sorry. No, I like to do smaller sections. I find that that works well. And I've tried this a few times, so smaller sections work better for doing this. And I also like to go on high because, at least to start out, because it just goes so fast. I also like to detangle first, not with the dryer. I know it says that you can do it with the dryer, but I think it depends on your hair texture. I'm excited to see this. What? I'm excited to see this. She trusts me. <laughs> okay, that was what, a minute? A minute, 36. And her hair was like sopping wet. Now, I find that I let it get a little bit like more like damp. It'll go faster, but just keep that in mind. What'd you get? All right. Four, less than five minutes. Less than five minutes. Four minutes, 41 seconds. Turn your head to the side. Let's show. Okay. So this is the finished product of that one section. So it's divided. Her hair is divided into four. Um, but I love how you can run your fingers through it. It's pretty smooth. Considering this is natural hair, so unrelaxed. And that's pretty smooth for, for natural, um, naturally curly hair. Okay. So now we will try the yellow bird. Oh, let's see. On a similar size section. We're gonna start off with high, and then if we need to, we'll make it cool. All right, say when. All right. I'm done. All right. We have four minutes, 37 really? seconds. It felt like it was longer. It did feel like it was longer. All right, so we're gonna show you what it looks like. So right now, this is the yellow bird side here. So all dry, pretty smooth. The ends could use a little more work. This side, I mean, that's just my opinion. <laughs> I also need a trim, so ignore that. <laughs> this side is the Revlon side. To me, it's a little smoother. Hold your hand up a second. Like this one seems a little bit puffier than this side. Now we're gonna change things up and have and have Arlene do it herself in the front to see if her experience doing it herself is any different. Yeah, because usually that's the test. Because halfway through, every time I blow dry my hair, I get tired. Me too, and I start wondering why did I bother doing this. And any naturals out there can understand and relate.
Well, you get all excited, like, yeah, I'm gonna blow dry my hair today, try a different look, and then you start doing your like mm, bad idea. Yes. The roots sometimes you gotta kind of maneuver your hand, but the ends yeah. come out pretty Because it's bigger. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's the whole point of the like the, the air coming out the top, because when you get to the ends, you really can get those yeah. ends. But if you're not, but that's why like smaller sections work well, because then you can get the roots. If your sections are too big, you'll miss some of the roots. You know what I mean? All right. Now for the piece de resistance. <laughs> Let's do that con air. <laughs> So on me, usually I have to hold it like this, just because it's a little it's difficult for me to go like this and blow dry my hair. So I feel like I can get a better handle if I hold the nozzle. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. Let's like take those both out and see right. like how they look. So you can like compare, see what you think. They both look pretty smooth. They look they look smooth, but like I didn't really feel the difference in the back. In the front, I feel the difference. Okay, what's your? This side is a little smoother. Like my hands are going through easier. Should we like bring it a little close up? Let's see. So this is the Revlon side. Mm -hmm. This is the Conair side. So you guys decide if you can see a difference. I think this one looks a little shinier too on this side, do you think? <laughs> it was not a huge difference as far as time, but as far as your physical exertion, your arm, well, it depends on what you're trying to do. Sometimes a concentrated dryer is what, what you need. And like even people who use this part, they can really concentrate on that section. Yeah. So I think it depends on so what you're So they have their uses, yeah. They definitely have their uses. But for me, when I mainly just, if I blow dry, it's really just to stretch the hair for a style. The Revlon works great for me for that. If you're doing some other styling, then maybe you need the other I'm really one. mad oh, at this. I'm mad at what's happening right here. <laughs> see how it's, wait, we should let it out and see if they both puff up. So no. You, <laughs> so you see this side does is a little puffy. And that was what I thought was the norm for blow drying my hair until I started using this. And now I know when I blow dry, I can get pretty smooth. And here's usually the test. I really like how this side feels. I'll, when I blow dry my hair, you know, once I go through all the steps, smooth it out. And I try not to use a flat iron after. I mean, it looks nice, but then, you know, I feel like I'm burning the heck out of my hair. I'll usually start out like this, you know, with some hairstyle that's, you know, flatter. And then by the time I get to work, hours pass and you can see like my hair getting bigger and bigger and bigger, which I don't like. If, I, if my hair is going to be big, let me start it and end it And expect big. it that way. So like if right. I, if I, when I used to blow dry before and it came out like this, I would do like maybe some sort of twists or something. Right, a roller. Yeah, something else. But if I was, but I find when I use the Revlon and it gets like this, I can easily transition to like a flat iron style because it's already so smooth yeah. to begin. Final verdict. And I'm liking my bun. I'm it's a very cute it. bun. My hair actually, I'm, I'm having a thick hair day. I love it. <laughs> So we got the two dryers. I'm still a big fan of my of my choice. We still do live. We still hers has a purpose too. Right. I'm sure there's many out there that love. I've seen some great tutorials with this blow dryer, yes. and it was awesome. I almost yes. bought this blow dryer before I got this one. So yeah, it's not. I, I still like it, mm -hmm. but I kind of like. It. <laughs> I don't want this one. <laughs> All right. So looking at our our times that we did. Remember when we were timing the back that I did. We have um, a very minimal difference between the two. So we got, let's get closer. We so go. we got four minutes and 37 seconds. That actually was the yellow, the yellow bird. Yeah. And then four minutes and 41 seconds. Which seconds is It's white. pretty much the same. They're pretty much the same. And I mean, in the grand scheme of, you know, dividing your hair yeah. and doing a whole and head. Combing it out, all that stuff. 20 minutes is yeah. still not bad. Yeah. Well, less than 20 minutes. Because that means it was less than 20 minutes to do the whole head. So I think they're pretty much the same as far as how fast. It just felt faster when we were using the yeah. blow dryer brush. And after we were done with the yellow bird, we felt like we needed to do more to it. Like it still felt kind of yeah. dry. Like we probably want to add more product or you might want to. And we even went over it again with the blow dryer brush. Yeah. So. And that's the thing too. When it feels dry, because usually when I'm using the yellow bird, I do find myself putting 
more product. Yeah. So like on the ends. So I think the drying time is fat is the same, but when you're done with the blow dryer brush, you don't really have to do as much after. It's kind of smooth and ready for styling. Yeah. And then with the yellow bird, I feel like you had to do something more. So yeah. So still makes. The still, blow dryer there's brush still win. two really good blow dryers, <laughs> good but blow dryers, the but Revlon one was lighter. And, and I think that's why they call it one, the one step because it's they're, they're thinking that you won't have to do much more after, right? Was yep. it one step? One step, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I think maybe someone who had straight, straighter hair, they could be done, you know, once they're done. Yeah, it would be it much like, quicker. Yeah, like wavy hair, you would just blow it and you'd be done and you'd go. Yeah. So I think that's why they could say one step because you've got the smooth hair, you're ready to go. Um, for us, we know we're going to do something else anyway, but with the yellow bird, I feel like it, you still have another step. So it does cut down on time in the long run. Overall time. Yes. Overall styling time is definitely less. Yeah. Anyway, sound like the verdict of the day, at least in this contest. Take that Revlon. I'm so brush. sad. I'm still <laughs> so sad. But no, I, 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 I like it. My hair is really smooth. And we went back over oh, yes. this, the yellow mention. bird section. We went back over it with... The Revlon, yeah, and the smoothness came back. Yeah, and it felt less dry. Remember, you had like before you, you were was like feeling a little, a little bit, bit like a straw broom. Yes, and it was starting <laughs> to like puff up more than the other side. And usually, we have no problem with puffing. Obviously, I don't mind big hair. Well, yeah, if it's curly, it it's bigger how, and better. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mess up the buns. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> it is a good one. Glad we're capturing it. I can't. So I think it depends on what you're looking for. We, you know, but if we, if I'm gonna blow dry, I'd rather have it smooth. Otherwise, I might as well just wear it curly. So that's just my opinion. So I'm all for that brush. So I hope this helped. Uh, if it did, definitely like. Um, and if Even if it didn't see, help you, like it and anyway. you found this funny, yes, go ahead and like it anyway. <laughs> And don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one, right? All right. <laughs> That's it. Bye.